Good morning. It is nine o'clock already. Um, I woke up at eight. I had a bed and like such a good bed. Someone got sick last night. Um, they were drinking, so I suppose that's the thing. Um, so I had a little blister in the middle of my foot, but I put a compet on it and some sports tape, so I hope everything will be okay. And the plan for today is to go to Portugalete and I'll take the official route, so up to the hills and down the hills and then to the cattle. Good morning, I have had my breakfast now and uh, just heading up to the hills today it is really slow, like I don't really feel that I'm going anywhere or getting anywhere, but uh, it's going to be a good day. Like I'll be walking literally less than half an hour probably um, and had a breakfast already, but still like it feels like because it's so late already, it feels like today is going to like never end. The check-in is at four, then I need to go to, I don't need to go to the Catalan, but I want to have, I have four pairs of socks, so I want to have the fifth ones, so just in case if something doesn't get dry, or like this morning, I realized that my second pair of socks that I was supposed to put on, their heel was wet. So, uh, I still needed to put them on because my other socks were more wet, but um, yeah, I need just in case socks that I should have packed, but I didn't. Believe it or not, I just um, finished the first uphill. Um, Wow, there is a cool mountain. Hold on a second. Um, dun, 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 dun. I don't think you can close. Zoom close enough. Uh, the mount. It is cool. Um, it looks like you have just cut the top with like a knife or something. Um, yeah, so far. So. Now I'm just going down the first hill, then I have another hill like that, and then it's just basically, it should be um, flat until Portugalete. So I needed to go around the gate with like, there is this little like a uh, thing made for people who go f goes for walks, and uh, I couldn't fit that. I needed to take my backpack off because I was too big sideways and like that ways. Um, yeah, so I took my backpack off and then I managed to fit. But usually you'd fit easily, but I have everything hanging outside of my backpack. So in that way, it just didn't work out. So I'll be walking only seven kilometers, but I'm taking a tiny sit down break airing my toes and trying to dry my socks as well. The toe socks, they are wet um, from sweat and the other socks, they're only wet from the arch. Um, and then there was people behind, walking behind me and they couldn't go past me and I really need to pee soon. So I kind of let them to go past and uh, hopefully I'll get to go to pee soon. So according to Buen Camino app, I have reached the top of the other hill. So it's only going down from here now towards the Portugalete. There was a water fountain on the top of the hill and it was so good to have just like cold water instead of electrolytes and that has been in my backpack for like the last three hours 
Yeah, like I probably would have gone mad if I had needed to walk aside that the whole day. Like, yeah, I get that you can see the river, but then again, you could be up on the mountains, you know? Not on the mountains, but um, you could be walking in a kind of foresty, fieldy, hilly um, nature. I know it's still you're walking on the road most of the time on that one, but it's not that you're walking in a city or, you know, suburb or whatever. So definitely take the original route. Catlin Hall, um, if the hall was the right word. I bought um, gloves, running gloves, for like really cold days. And uh, if it's not going to be really cold days anymore, I can just send them home. Um, then I got Merino wool t shirt, which is lighter than long leaf shirt. So I don't know. <laughs> They was kind of like, oh well, um, and they had only like one merino wool top, and I didn't like the color, so that's that. And then I got one pair of socks. They're not really hiking socks; they're running socks. But sure, they'll do they'll do the trick, and they have this um, I don't know some sort of tension thing around ankle which is meant to be better for your joints. So, um, we'll see how they fe feel on my feet. Um, so yeah, on the way to the Gatlin, there was McDonald's. So obviously I needed to stop there for lunch. And now I'm heading back to the Camino. Um, and then, Hopefully at some point I will get to Puerto Galete and find my albergue and yeah, I don't think they have um, washing option over there so tomorrow could be I think day four without washing any of my clothes except socks and underwear um, but tomorrow there is meant to be I think spinner and dryer. So tomorrow I will wash my clothes. Um, it's probably somewhere on a hill, so if it's not extremely windy or raining, I could just dry my clothes outside. But um, it is what it is. If I was on the PCT, I wouldn't be able to wash my clothes. Only like, or I would be able to wash my clothes only like once a week. So compared to that, this is the luxury that I get to wash them nearly every day. So if you think about it, I've been walking for five hours now and I have seen only six hikers. So yeah, the Norte is quite, um, quite more quiet. Um, I would say most of the people took the shortcut but um, and most of the Spanish people are gone by now because of their holidays or it, like they stayed in Bilbao and then they're heading home but um, yeah it is quiet. I'm pretty much the only one here if you would like to think about it in that way. I have had my hot chocolate and I got like an eclair but instead of having cream in it inside of it it was just like covered with custard and then then it had this icing sugar um you know icing sugar water thing whatever I don't know what's the word but it had that on the top of it so super sweet Super nice. 
it looks like it might start raining in a second um, so let's hope it doesn't it is 10, 10 to 3 and uh, I'm still not at the top all very good I'll be there soon enough I have like two three kilometers left and uh, it opens at four so I still have an hour time so all good it just today feels like it never ends I said at the start that it didn't but the rest of the day or the rest of the walk today has been kind of endless like it just feels like I'm there but I'm not there because I'm just walking in these suburbs, 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 whatever. Um, it has been raining. Like I was watching earlier or looking earlier that there was these rain clouds, looking clouds. Uh, but it didn't rain where I was. But in here, the cars are wet. So it must have rained like only like half an hour ago or so. So I'll be lucky. I just need to hope that it doesn't start raining again. So there was just kind of a nice big rain. I stopped there um, to wonder with a friend of mine what to do because she lost her fanny bag with like passport, wallet, everything. Um, and then it started to rain and there's more water in my shoes than on the street. At the moment, I have my umbrella, but try to fit two girls with their backpacks in there. It's impossible. So now I'm just going to the albergue and hope that I'll get my clothes dry by tomorrow. I may skip the church. Um, I think it looks close anyway, so maybe I'll try it later on. Um, so I'm going to the tourist office now. So I went to the tourist office, it was closed. I went to the guard station, police office, it was closed and it was only for passports and stuff. So here I am in front of my albergue, waiting for 20 minutes to get in. Um, I put my jacket on, hopefully it will keep me warm. And uh, yeah, the rain stopped. It could have been not raining at all, but um, or let's put it in this way. I should have put my rain gear on when we got the first drops of water instead of like when it stopped. So I just rang the number on the door and I said that I'm here and they were like, okay, okay, I'll leave in 10 minutes. So it will be maybe another 15, 20 minutes to wait. I was kind of expecting that when when it says from 4 to 9 online that you can get in at 4, not when you call them. So there is no one else in here, so hopefully, and it's only 10 bed hostel. So hopefully I get to shower in a piece and, you know, do some washing hand washing and uh, just hopefully I get my clothes dry and they have blankets, they have towels, the breakfast is included although I will leave early but if it's just like bread and stuff that you can just take from the cupboards I can help myself in the morning. So there was this guy at my hostel who was the only one there and oh my god, the look that he gave me when I started to unpack my stuff, like I just had a shower and like, you know, would have been nice to have a look what I need for the evening or for the morning, but no, he just gave me the death stare. Um, so I just put my jacket on and left outside, uh, or went outside. Um, just went to the tourist office. They hadn't seen uh, my friends back, or no one had brought them to them. And now I'm just doing some stretching and getting food.